We have completed the creation of stages for internal and external till now. Let's see how to insert the external stage data into table. List out the stages by using show command which we have created in earlier sessions. These are the two stages. External and internal. Let's copy the external stage name and check the list of files sitting on external stage. These are the list of file and stage. Let's jump into inside of load. Copy the one of file from the list. We will check the data in that FT group file. So based on that delimiter we will create a file format. We have a data with caret delimiter. So let's create a file format with caret delimiter. Go to databases. Choose the database. Click on file format. Don't have any file formats yet. Let's click on create option to create a new file format. Provide proper file format name to understand or to remember in future. Choose the schema name. Select the required format type. Here Snowflake supports these six format types. 1. CSV. 2. JSON. 3. XML. 4. Argo. 5. ORC. 6. Parquet. Now we will choose format type ASCSV as we observe our data in file. Choose the compression method. Snowflake supports six type of compression methods. 1. XIP. 2. Deflate. 3. Raw deflate. 4. BC2. 5. Broadly. 6. ZSTD. Let's choose auto as compression method. It will auto find the file compression method. Now select the column separator from the list. Here we have five separators. 1, comma. 2, vertical bar. 3, tab. 4, none. 5, other. Now select the other column separator, as we have caret as a column separator. So type caret symbol here. We choose rest of the files as per requirements. File format is created. Now go back to the worksheets. Create a new table for FT group file with two required columns. Select the table to check the table is created or not. Table created with the FD group name. Let's write the actual copy command to insert the data into FD group table. Execute the copy command. Status is loaded. Now check the table. Yes data loaded from external stage file. Now we will try in another way. Copy command with transformations. We will create a new table for transform data.
change the copy command by applying transformation. Checking new table created or not. Now we execute the new command. Status is loaded. Rows parse 25, rows loaded 25. Check the data in new table is really transformation happened? Yes now data loaded is expected without tilde. Try to execute same command again. Copy executed with zero files processed. Which means copy command will not overwrite the same file, until unless force equals true. Status is loaded, rows parse 25. Rose loaded 25, that's it. Thank you, please subscribe the channel for more videos.